and you're not bad most TV entertainment without bad.
glorious God to be saved. This is the day that the Lord has made. We rejoice Him and we glad in it. before I came in here, but I make a vow with my God that before I start to read my speech, the God that I've called Mami and Bami in I say I'm going to prostrate for their God. I'm going to prostrate for the God that I've called them that made them to turn wilderness into a city. And that is the kind of God that I want to serve all the days of my life. Bam. I want to thank Almighty God. I appreciate my fathers and my mothers in the Lord. I appreciate Carlos, you king from all over the world. His Imperial Majesty is here, the Onion Fifa, and every. But that the Oniru of your land, Baba Council is fly just because of this to be here on time. The Baba of you who call me by himself. I cannot appreciate everyone enough. I say thank you. Former presidents, former uh, governors are here. Baba Miyoba Sojo, all the time and every time I look, I see you. I glorify Almighty God concerning your life, sir. The, His Our Excellency, um, the Vice President of Liberia. I appreciate everyone here. The story of my life is too beautiful. I want to, I want to greet my husband. Excuse me. My husband, my senior in my school. He was my senior. We went to the same secondary school. My husband. After God, I've been my pillar. This amazing boy from Ikeja Drama School has <laughs> been with me. I'm a Naye, I'm a Lopez, Jembe. I want to appreciate him. I want to say thank you. When I woke up this morning, it's not that I knelt for him this morning. I possess the money. Yes, I knew and give him uh, the the names from his place. But today, this morning, I thank him specially. If he says today, aside from God, will not happen. It might not happen, you know. If he says I should stay in that bedroom and not come out, who is going to query him? But I'm I'm still in love with you. A reason for being here. We'll quickly go into here. Why are we here today? At this point in time, our reason for being here is rooted in faith and obedience to the voice of the creator of the whole universe. On the 22nd of October, 2017, the Lord spoke to me in my secret place after my uh, morning devotion. I know his voice. According to that book of John, chapter number 10, from that verse 27, I have personal relationship and personal fellowship with Jesus Christ. He told me, loud and clear, I heard his voice that I should leave the United Kingdom, that he wants to use me all over the world. I obeyed. My husband, my children, at the beginning, 
They said I should think. I said there is nothing to think about. It is about my movement. They always say a prophet does not have honor in his own community. But I thank my creator. My honor starts from my bedroom. I've had visions and dreams that have come to pass many times before. So the argument was not long. I got to this place, an empty land, and um, I spoke with the lady that brought me here. And uh, at the end of it, I was led to the person who sold this land, the land that this edifice is standing on, to us. There are many of you here today that I cannot mention. I want to thank you. But I want to tell you sincerely that there is power in obedience to the voice of the creator of the whole universe. Since I got to this great country, 2017, there is no stopping me. We started the foundation of this place in 2017. And um, except for coronavirus that we trust Almighty God that will soon be thin of the past that stop us for about 12 months if we break it even. Nothing has hindered us. It's been good news, good news, all true. Thrown out from foundation to completion, there was no incident, no accident. We cannot but glorify Almighty God. We are here today to dedicate this place open to people all over the world to come and worship the creator of the whole universe, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And the mission is to always tell the world that there is no other God except Jesus Christ personal relationship, personal fellowship with him, obedience to his word will always lead you to greatness. I always say this, where there is holiness, there must be prosperity. I want to again thank my beloved husband, Reverend Ademu Iwa Amuwa Oluwa Ajayi, my best friend for more than 35 years. I want to still appreciate Bami, Amami, Enoch, Adeja, Adeboye. I want to appreciate uh, Bami Obasanjo, uh, His Excellency, Governor of Lagos State, Sawodu, the Union of Ife, Bami Alao, Bami Oshofa, uh, Bami Amami Fasunuye, Ayedu, and numerous people that I cannot mention. Every member of Love of Christ Generation Church love worldwide, I say thank you. And I say I love you. And Bishop George Bloomer, Bishop Duwa, I say thank you. Our Excellency Vice President of uh, Liberia, I say thank you. And many more of you far and near that I cannot mention. We are here to declare open, dedicate this great place into the hands of the creator of the whole universe. Thank you so very much for coming. Thank you indeed for honoring the creator of the whole universe. Fire.
think uh, our beloved sister will have a lot of chewing gum to chew. Because there are so many people who would love to say congratulations and who will keep on saying congratulations. This is beautiful. This is, this is beautiful. Congratulations. And, uh, congratulations to my brother. Uh, they used to say behind a successful man there is uh, a woman. Now we can say behind every successful woman there is a man. Congratulations. God bless you. I want to salute all the great men of great God who are here. Uh, thank you very much for being here today. The Almighty God will honor you too in Jesus' name. Amen. And I want to salute all our traditional fathers. Thank you for coming. And in your various kingdoms, there will be peace. Amen. There will be prosperity. Amen. There will be joy. Amen. And because you are here today, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your kingdoms will be secure. Amen. And of course I want to thank uh, the great politicians who are here, uh, starting with uh, Papa Bekuta. <laughs> My friend of many, many years, even though he's much older than I, thank God for you, thank God for all the politicians who are here. My prayer is that uh, through your efforts, it will be well with Nigeria. I will not be taking too much of your time, but a day like this comes probably once in a lifetime. John chapter 14, verse 6. John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. When I was younger, I'm still young, only 79 years old. In those days, in the 1950s and so on, particularly when we were in the grammar school, there's something that was very common among us. It is uh, what we call alliances, nicknames, pet names. You know, your father decided to name you Ayo or Ade. But you think that that's not big enough. So you want to add something to it to make it sound, particularly in those days when we were under the British. So if your father says your name is Ade, you call yourself Adesco. <laughs> you know, that's, that's bigger. Um, and well, for example, there was a friend of mine whose uh, real name is uh, Rufus Abuloye. He uh, thought that that's not good enough, so he calls himself a Rufi Agolo. <laughs> As a friend whose name is uh, Emmanuel Morgan, but he calls himself Emmanuel Morgana. <laughs> But the one who, who seemed to win among us, and I could tell you several of those beautiful names, was his the one whose uh, name was uh, Solomon Babushi. But he calls himself Shokoloko Babushi. <laughs> and the truth of the fact is that when you want a day to do something special for you, don't call him a day. What do you call him? A <laughs> <Adi> squad. <laughs> you are very good students. <laughs> so one day someone came to Jesus Christ and said, Some people call you teacher. 
Some people will call you the Lamb of God. Uh, your father calls you Emmanuel. But what would you like to be called? Tell us what's your alliances. And he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, verse 6. Three powerful names. Unfortunately, we don't have time to go through the three because each name has tremendous power behind it. So we're going to, in the next few minutes that I'm allowed, we're going to talk about the first one, the way. Jesus Christ said, I am the way. Now, he is the way out of problems. Is the way out of sickness, for example. And why is he the way out of sickness? Because he made all things. John chapter 1, verses 1, 3, and 14. John 1, verses 1, 3, and 14. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. And by him were all things made, including you. And there was nothing made that was not made by him. And then verse 14 says, And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. So Jesus was the Word. Jesus was the one who made you. Jesus is the one who became flesh and dwelt among us. So in the past, whenever somebody was sick and they cried to God, God would turn to Jesus and say, go and take care of the situation. So Psalm 107 verse 20, Psalm 107 verse 20 says, He sent His word and He healed them. And when you are sick, and there is nothing that could be done about the sickness, maybe the problem is due to old age, if you take the matter to Jesus, because he made you, he can supply you with spare parts. Because every manufacturer of every, anything always keeps spare parts. For example, in John chapter 9, from verse 1 to 7, John 9 from verse 1 to 7, there was a man who was born blind. In his own case, he was in a hurry to get to the world. So he didn't wait for eyes. And for some 40 years, he was walking about in darkness until he met Jesus. And Jesus spat on the ground, made some mud, and said, this is how I created you originally. And then put some mud where the eyes were supposed to be, told him to go and wash, and he washed and came back seeing. So Jesus is the way out of sickness. And so I, I want to encourage somebody who is here today who wants to go home healed to shout Jesus. Jesus! He is the way into everything that is good. Is the way out of trouble, and I, I could talk about other troubles, and we don't have the time. Is the way out of troubles, but it's also the way into everything that is good. For example, is the way into joy. In John chapter 16, verse 24, John 16, verse 24, he said, Is that all you have asked me nothing? Ask till your joy be full. I want to prophesy to someone. I know this is a dangerous thing to do because we are in the presence of prophets and I'm an ordinary pastor. But I'm sure they will pardon me today. I want to prophesy to someone that from now on you won't weep again. Because in Luke 
chapter 7 from verse 11 to 15. Luke chapter 7 from verse 11 to 15. The, the Bible tells us that a woman, a widow, lost her only son and was going to bury that boy. So you can be sure that widow was really, really sad. But then he met the way out of sorrow into joy. He met Jesus Christ on the way. And Jesus Christ said to her, widow, weep no more. And within minutes, the boy that was dead was brought back to life. So I, I, I am saying in the name of that person who can move you from sorrow to joy, that whatever it is that is causing you sorrow, because you came today, shall be removed in Jesus. Now it's also the way into true freedom. There are a lot of people who are in bondage, uh, bondage to forces of darkness, bondage to witches and wizards, uh, bondage to curses that have been pronounced on their generations and so on and so forth. But you see, Jesus Christ is the way into true freedom. Because the Bible says in John chapter 8, verse 32, John For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity. We thank you for the presence of our Father and the Lord who has come to pray for us. And we pray that every of your good and wonderful people, my name is Eniola Badmos. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And Badmos TV Entertainment without Bad.